Bournemouth 0, to 1 Newcastle. Five things we learned as Rob Elliott Horowitz earned Magpies three points. Despite dominating possession and the shot count, Eddie Howe's side couldn't find a way through and were caught cold by Ayo's Perez's clever finish. Third choice keeper Rob Elliott played a blinder to deny Bournemouth as Ayo's Perez's goal gave Newcastle their first away win of the season. The dominant Cherries had 19 shots to 2, 16 corners to 0, but could not beat the inspired Republic of Ireland star. And the Spaniard converted the Toon's only chance of the game with a low shot keeper Adam Federici should have saved. It was lucky Newcastle's first away win in 13 attempts. Eddie Howe's side have now gone six games without a win while conceding 16 goals and will spend the international break in the bottom three. Elliot will head off on for the 2016 Euros playoffs against Bosnia-Herzegovina after his man-of-the-match display. The London-born keeper, who needed to pass a fitness test after aggravating a thigh injury against Stoke last week, is only playing because Tim Krull and Carl Dullo are crocked. Elliot has now kept consecutive clean sheets after conceding five in his first two games this season. Perez's winner came after 27 minutes when Alexander Mitrovic flicked Daryl Jangmat's pass to Jorginho Wijnaldum and he slipped in the Spaniard to prod his shot past Federici. Here are five things we learned. 1. You don't stay in the Premier League without a proper keeper. Arta Boruk has been dropped after his clangers in the last home game against Spurs. Adam Federici best known for gifting Arsenal's winner in last season's FA Cup semi-final for reading, had to save the only shot he faced in the first half, but he failed. It's now only one clean sheet in 12 Premier League games. Not good enough. 2. Rob Elliott is not bad for a third-choice keeper. The inspired Republic of Ireland keeper had an absolute wall D, especially a first-half save from a Joshua King flick. Not only the best Newcastle player, nearly the only one who had a decent game. His defence was rubbish, conceding chance after chance. 3. But strikers win matches. Joshua King failed to convert a string of chances. Ayo's Beres had one sniffer goal in the whole match and scored with his snapshot. There are no prizes for pretty football in the Premier League, especially if you can't find the finishing touch. 4. Apart from Matt Ritchie, Bournemouth have little going forward. The Scotland winger put in a stream of crosses from the right but Junius and Nislas was anonymous down the other flank. The Cherries lacked creativity and guile down the middle. Ritchie has quality in his game, but without Callum Wilson, Bournemouth are sorely lacking. 5. The only tables these two teams are going to top this season are for injuries. Newcastle sit clear of the rest of the Premier League with 12 injuries while Bournemouth are not far behind with 7. The loss of Tyrone Mings, Max Griddle and Callum Wilson is too much for a newly promoted side.